Crappie fishing during the early part of the summer can be a great time to put a ton of fish in the boat, but you first have to understand how to locate these fish. In this video, I'm gonna break down where I'm gonna be finding these fish on natural lakes, rivers, and reservoirs, and then what baits you can use this time of year to hopefully put a ton of fish in your boat. But first, huge thanks to their sponsor, Two More Cast Tackle Box. Right now, you can get multiple packs of these right here. These are the Euro Tackle B Vibes. They are a swim bait style crappie plastic, and they work phenomenal during the months of May and June, early summer, just casting out over a weed bed on our natural lakes, maybe around some laydowns or some uh, shallow rocks on the river systems up north. Down south, you guys fish a lot of docks. These are great to cast around and catch those crappies suspended up under them. Right now, when you sign up for your very first month, you can get three packs of these. It's $12 value for just $1. That's right, 12 bucks worth of baits for just $1 It's your very first month. So sign up right now, click the first link in the video description. So before we get started on talking about locations and baits on different lakes and rivers and reservoirs, first you need to understand what early summer means to you because way up north where I'm at right now, early summer is like tail end of May, first couple weeks of June. If you're in South Texas, your summer probably starts in late April maybe. Um, early May sometimes, so fish are gonna be doing the same thing. You just have, might have to either push the date forward or push the calendar back depending on the state that you live in. We're gonna start up north on our natural lakes where I'm at right now. And these crappie, what they're gonna do towards the end of May, first couple weeks of June, the females are gonna push off to the furthest out weed edge. So whatever the freshest weed growth is, that could be in five feet of water, it could be in 10 feet of water, depending on the clarity of that lake. That's where the females are kind of push out to. The males are still gonna be up shallow, uh, being the fry garters. So you're gonna find them in five to six feet of water, maybe a little bit shallower. Uh, but that's where they're gonna be in our early summer pattern. They're, it's pretty much a post-spawn pattern for us up north. Uh, what'll happen towards the later part of, as we get into like the dead heat of summer, in mid-June towards July, the males will come off the beds, females will start pushing out further, and then they're just gonna find the the edge of that weed growth and depending on the lake clarity it could be 10 feet 15 feet 20 feet of water by the time we get to mid-june so tactics i would use first search baits work really well during that early part of the summer pattern late may early june you got your uh any type of boot tail swim bait any type of curly tail swim bait beetle spins uh, jerk baits crank baits any type of search bait works really well cast it over the top of these weed beds cast it down the edge of these fresh growth of weeds. Again, that could be in five feet of water, it could be in 10 feet of water, depending on how clear the lake is. Bobber and jig tactics do work, but you do have to find where there's a big school of fish. And typically you'll find a pocket or a point within the weed bed, and that's gonna kind of help those fish kind of stage in that area to ambush bait fish as they're swimming by. So search baits work phenomenal this time of year. If you can kind of get on a school of them because they're at a pinch point or they're at an ambush point in the weed bed, bobber and jig setup works great in that situation. So now let's jump to rivers. Rivers this time of year, typically they're gonna fish a little bit shallower because it has current. Current brings oxygen and bait fish and any other food towards them so they can stay a little bit shallower. Uh, again, this time of year, males are still gonna be a little bit shallow, five to six feet or less. Uh, they're gonna be fry guarding right now. So bobber and jig tactics work for them but our females are gonna be pushed out a little bit deeper. And again, search baits work great. You're probably gonna be targeting more of your structure or your cover on top of the water. So with rivers, I always wanna start on a confidence spot, no matter what part of the country that I'm in. Uh, confidence spots are your bridges, your marinas, any type of big dock system. And because it's the early part of the summer, I'm gonna start shallow. I'm gonna cast beetle spins or just a curly tail or some sort of boot tail plastic up in the shallows, maybe catch a few males, still kind of fry guarding. But I wanna figure out where those females are uh, in the depth of either that dock or that bridge. They could be in five feet of water, it could be in 10 foot, 15 foot. Um, it really depends on the water temperature at that time of year. And it depends on what state you're in. You know, Early June, up north, water temps right now, I think are upper 60s, low 70s, just touching low 70s. If you are in Texas right now, I'm guessing water temps are probably in the 80s or at least the upper 70s. Um, so that's gonna depend on if they're out deeper. The warmer the water temps, they wanna seek safety in terms of cooler water, so they're gonna push out deeper. Um, the cooler the water temps, they can stay a little bit shallower. So live minnows and bobbers do work year round. 
Um, I probably would start using them towards the middle part of summer as fish start getting stacked up on any brush piles or rock piles in a slightly deeper water, 10 to 20 feet of water. They'll start to school up a lot better as we get deeper into the summer months. Uh, so that's probably when I'd use a slip bobber tactic with live minnows. Now on reservoir systems, I actually did a video about this, fishing bull shoals. I actually fished back in February, a couple years ago now. And I talked about how crappie use creek arms during their spawning phase. So during the actual heat of the spawning phase, which in Arkansas is probably going to be April, maybe late March, they're going to push all the way to the back of these creeks. And they're going to find these kind of shallow flats. Maybe it's a shallow stump field or something like that. Um, they're going to do their spawning. And for Arkansas, probably like late of April, early May, they're going to start pushing off on the edge of where this flat kind of drops back into the creek channel. That's kind of where they're going to start to be in this early summer months. You're going to still find some fish a little bit shallower and shallow is again relative to that creek channel. It could be in two feet of water, can be in six feet of water. It depends on how deep that creek channel actually gets. As you get into the summer months of May and definitely into June, they're going to push off back into the main creek channel where they first migrated through there during the pre-spawn and they're going to try to find um, some piece of ambush point, like a, a stump, maybe there's a brush pile or a stake bed, um, anything kind of along the contours of that creek. They're, they're probably not going to suspend too much directly in the main part of the channel. They're going to look for pieces of cover for safety and for ambush points for bait fish swimming by. So probably focus on like 10 to 15 foot contours um, close to that spawning flat or that stump field or wherever they spawn way back in that creek channel. As the summer months roll on, they are going to start pushing out. So some of them will suspend over the top of that creek channel, uh, just in open water. A lot of them are going to find deeper stumps or brush piles or any type of crappie, um, what do they call those, crappie hotel type of things people drop uh, along these creek edges. Midsummer, let's say June to July, they're probably going to be in that 15 to 20 foot range. They could be a little bit shallower depending on how much current is moving through there and the water temp. Um, but to target those fish, if they're really shallow, search baits work. As they get out to deeper water, you're going to see a lot of guys with long rods, 10, 12 foot rods, vertical jigging approach. Maybe they're pitching it out kind of away from the boat and letting that jig just pendulum back to the boat. They're probably using more of a straight minnow plastic, like a crappie monster small fry or something like that. And, and that's a great way to catch them because I, in my experience, early summer patterns, these crappie will start stacking up on those shallower brush piles. Maybe not all the big fish are on those shallow brush piles, but if you're looking to catch a, a good meal, it's a good way, good tactic to find some fish and put a bunch of fish in the live well. That vertical jig approach over those shallower 10 to 12 foot deep brush piles. Those are the tactics that I'm going to be using for early summer crappie. If you got any comments or questions, you can post them in the comment section below. Do me a favor, click the top link in the video description. Get yourself a couple packs of these. I think he's going to send you three packs of these. It's $12 worth of lures for just one buck. It's a heck of a deal. Subscribe to the Two More Cast Tackle Box system. Click the top link in the video description. Appreciate you watching as always. We'll see you in the next one.